efficient value chains that allow farmers to capture an equitable market for their produce and allow producers like yourselves to create market opportunities, but also for consumers to improve their nutritional status, I think it's a triple win. In this deliberation, we're trying to target consumers. We are only introduced to rice, wheat and corn as a basic source of nutrition. People don't even know the uh, name of uh, millet or the pictures or even to identify what grain it is. When I was younger, there was this song, it was on TV, it was for milk and it was by Amul. It went uh, something like, do, 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 do the wonderful piece that they had, rose a glass. Some sort of uh, an exercise for millets in the same way could uh, definitely change the, the way the next generation thinks about millets. There are a lot of products in the market which say they are made of millets, but when you look at them, there's hardly any millet in that, maybe 5 to 10 percent. So we need to get into putting certain standards in place. The awareness is growing. It is still in the initial stage, but yes. Today, even the doctors prescribe quinoa to a patient, then calling the Indian millet. The moment you put up the health value, automatically people are ready to take the bitter pill also for the sake of the health. As nutritionists, we are uh, promoting the diversification of diet, and then these millets provide the perfect opportunity. We still make sure the farmers benefit, which is really important. Um, and all, all the hurdles in the middle, which has been talked about this morning. Scale it up and all those things. This will come again and again. And nutrition will come, bioavailability will come, grades and standards are going to come. So if we are not going to do them parallelly and address them, then I think it will be just only... Reaching out to women to generate awareness about their role in actually demanding for and consuming millets in the home is uh, These millets are normally the last crop standing when a severe drought hits. So which means uh, they have very resilient uh, staying capacity. And as uh, some of us uh, worry about uh, declining availability of water, so this is one crop or one set of crops which can come to our health in, in, in the era of uh, climate change. I think these millets are actually going to be very important future foods as farmers deal with climate change and as consumers realize the environmental footprint of their decisions in the supermarket.